Okay, so uh, now I want to talk a little bit about your publications uh, because this is very interesting to me. I love, you know, archaeology. I love to study about uh, the the history of civilization and try to, like, one of the things that I was looking for in, like, when I'm asking myself, why am I so into these things is because... Um, I would like to learn about that spiritual connection between those civilization and and uh, and God, and I've seen a lot. As you said, you know, I've seen a lot of those civilization that they actually were connected to God in a way, and I'm sure that they had a prophet at that time and things like this. But here is one of the things that uh, really throws me off when I'm uh, when I am uh, reading about them. I was actually still I was actually debating with a 17 years old yesterday. <laughs> It's so weird uh, about this um, <laughs> because you know they they think about these things. Uh, they believe that uh, the per the people who actually were first came to this earth were the Anunnaki, the aliens, you know, and they are the ones who created uh, human beings. And by the way, when you said that Adam and Eve was not were not mentioned in that and in the history that time it's because they believed that uh, there were other human beings uh, that they lived in there other than adam and eve and then after that uh, they all died except adam and eve who pr procreated and they have children Where so what is this stuff <laughs> oh okay i know right <laughs> so uh like for example uh, they t they take i'm sure they take it also a lot from the uh, Greek uh, uh, traditions, like you know, for example, having a, a second wife for e uh, for uh, Adam. Her name is Lilith, and things like that. So I've I've read it all. I know all about it, you know, mm -hmm. because I am so interested about these things. So what what do you like? How can we filter between what is right and what is wrong, and how could you actually? Um, know what are the information to put it in your book and the information that you didn't put it in your book? Well, for me, it had to be. Uh... It had to be, you know, um, three sources to put something in the book. And, and I didn't know what I was doing. Absolutely not. And when I started doing research on archaeological digs mm -hmm. and how far back they went, uh, I could go, I could put in any country in the world and I'd say 10,000 BCE and a dig would come up. And these people in this area thought they were the origins of the earth. Um, so that was all over the world. So I found digs from the earliest one I found was 14,000 BCE in the area of Jordan. And, you know, um, the point being is that Adam was the first human. Everything, a lot created things that we don't know. Right. He created, he created the Neanderthal, he created whatever's on the earth but they are not human. They were not human. The first human was the humanoids and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And by the way, it is said in the Quran where it says that uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that I would like to create, like I want to create a new creation and the angels, they objected and they said, would you, you know, why would you uh, create a, a creation that would uh, fight with each other and uh, bloodshed with each other? So that actually shows that uh, that should maybe another civilization was there before Adam and Eve. Well, the uh, bin and then, and the bin were there. They're maybe not humans. Maybe as you said, mm -hmm. like they were the, the aliens or what they call them, the aliens, but they were actually, you the know, gym, uh, yeah. they were earth inhabitants, you know, mm -hmm. and things like that. Exactly. So. Well, the bin was there and then the jinn came and they fought with the bin and right. then the jinn took over the earth and they became corrupt. Yeah. And then Allah sent the angels and then oh. after that, and they brought, I I Iblis was one of the jinn that fought against his own people, and the angels took him back up. And um, he was in heaven for a long time, worshiping Allah before he turned to the darkness. So, you know, it's, it's very interesting. This is not from me. This is from many scholars and many, you know. I actually read about that just yesterday, subhanAllah, before even you said it, subhanAllah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the other things on earth, again, they they keep saying we're from monkeys. <laughs> they keep saying we're from the Neanderthal. I, I finally say in the book, look, did the Neanderthals have this flash of intellect? And then they began because farming began during the time of Adam. Um, shepherding began, you know, all of this. And there's proof in here 
there's proof in here. One of the most amazing things to me was the wheat. The wheat used to have something where at, a, at when it was ready to drop to the ground and be done way back when, mm. it would just dissolve and it would go down. Now, once Adam came to earth, Allah put a different kind that held the wheat seed up until it could be harvested. Oh. Now, this is a scientist. This is not, a, this is, I didn't get this from a scholar. I got this from the scientists that were just amazed by that, that around 10,000 BC or so, the wheat um, holder changed from something that dissolved to something that stayed up so the humans could, could, move, could propagate it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this stuff blew me away. I just could not yeah, stop writing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's all there. It's fun. 